How far does your theory provide um, what you might call a poetics of religious varieties, the different religions that there are in the world, their similarities or sameness, and on the other hand, their difference? Do you, do you think it helps us? It, it, do you think it helps the uh, student of comparative religion in any way? Yes, it's a view of comparative religion. Mm. Because myths are being always uh, are extremely different in the stories they tell you, in the type of evil committed by the god, and uh, the opposite as well. But they are one in their structure, in their scapegoat structure, mm. their misunderstood scapegoat structure. Mm -hmm. In a way, religious diversity has been the, the major argument against religion in the West. When you become aware of the panorama of world religion, you cannot believe in any of them, because they are all alike. But they are all alike, but some interpret themselves and some do not. You know, the, in Vedic thought, you have many intuitions that are the same as uh, the Christian ones. Yes. You yes. don't have Christ, of course, so no. it's totally different. But uh, it reveals that many of the things that are in the Gospels can also be reached by a purely, by another religious path. The mimetic theory uh, acknowledges the similarity, the fundamental similarity between mythology and uh, gospels. In uh, many myths, it would be wrong to say all myths because our definition of myth is so vague anyway. But uh, many myths, like the Gospels, begin with a collective murder and uh, are an interpretation of that collective murder. And the Gospels is that as well. And this, of course, is the basis for the um, assimilation of the one to the other, which is goes as far back, at least probably much far, well, no, not much farther back. Uh, second century Celsus, Do we say, should we say Celsus in, in mm -hmm. Latin? Yeah. Um, Celsus who says, who was the first one to see the similar structure in the Gospels and uh, mythology. Mm. These foolish Christians, you know, mm. who don't realize that it's fundamentally the same structure mm. and uh, more or less he says uh, uh, that the Gospels are obviously in it and uh, it makes it possible, of course, to say yes, it's the same structure but it's not the same interpretation. Mm. And from this comes my own definition, which is a myth, is a misunderstood scapegoat phenomenon. Therefore, a real scapegoat phenomenon, because it's part of the definition of scapegoat phenomenon that it is misunderstood by the people who see it as true. And a correctly understood scapegoat phenomenon, which uh, turns against the scapegoat phenomenon and proclaims the innocence of the victim. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there is no uh, uh, modern scientists should become aware of this difference since uh, they should have read at least mm -hmm. the Gospels and be aware that Jesus is regarded as innocent mm -hmm. by the disciples but not by the crowd. Mm. Therefore, it fits completely our second pattern. And uh, 
the non-Christian, of course, don't see the difference. That's the reason why my definition, far from being anti-Christian, is in a way the difference between the gospel and mythology is the difference in the interpretation of a phenomenon which is correctly interpreted in the gospels and incorrectly interpretation uh, interpreted in uh, mythology. You know, many people use the similarity of structure between Christianity and many myths as proof that the two are the same. Mm. Uh, in both cases, you have a central murder by a collectivity, and it ends up with uh, revelation of the scapegoat mechanism. Mm. But uh, only in the Christianity is the victim fully justified and the scapegoat mechanism. So a myth is a scapegoat mechanism that works and Christianity is a scapegoat mechanism that does not work. No. And the negative aspect, of course, makes it uh, unusual in this type of interpretation mm. way. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It goes against the grain yes. of humanity. Yes. And what is interesting is that uh, the Bible will come in by sh when it shows in a way that the scapegoating is false. Yeah. But it can be read. In some ways, it's more original. And uh, I think in the, the ancient testament, it's uh, the story of Joseph is archetypal in that respect. Yeah. You know, the youngest one was the scapegoat of his twelve brothers. Yes. And twelve brothers, it's a crowd. Yes. And they treat him badly. Mm. And uh, he's innocent. Yes. And not only does he forgive them, but he forgives them when one of his brothers refuses to accept the scapegoat trick. You know, when the, the brother of his Benjamin, yes. when he says, I, I bring Benjamin the first time if you want to receive grain from me. Yeah. And then he gives them grain and says everybody can go except for Benjamin. Yes. I keep Benjamin. Yes. He doesn't want to do any wrong, but he's testing his brothers. Yes. Yes. And only one, Judah, they first decide to leave altogether. Then Judah turns around literally and says, I cannot stand it. Keep me. Yeah. instead of Judah, yeah. instead of uh, yeah. Benjamin. But then there he recognizes them all. The Christian and the Judaic texts like the mm. say, discover about human anthropology phenomena yeah. that mythology will never discover, yes. cannot yes. discover. Yes. Uh, maybe that certainly is far eastern philology, you, you, uh, mythologies, you have phenomena which are similar, but it will simply prove that they have that same insight, yes. which is a natural insight, yes. but extremely uncommon mm. before the arrival of uh, Judeo-Christian right? yes. You see the relationship between a story like the story of Joseph and a text like the suffering servant Mm. The lynching by the crowd of the suffering servant, which has always been acknowledged as prophetic of the passion, but you can find dozens of texts which are prophetic of the passion. People should have worried a little more before about the tremendous amount of collective murders and that sort of thing in mythology in the Gospels. The main argument against Christianity if you don't interpret it correctly, is that one. Look, you're dealing with the same sort of thing. Why should you differentiate between the two? Mm. 